Hey folks, it's Kevin here again. Well, I decided to get, come out again this weekend and uh, have another attempt at some camping and hiking um, because the weather is still quite mild. This time I decided to come to what's known in Finland as a lavo. This is a lean-to wooden shelter, uh, which you can come during the day and you can light a fire. It's an official fire lighting spot. And you can light a fire, you can grill sausages or cook food, and you can stay overnight. It's very basic. It's basically just a wooden log structure that uh, has a slanted roof on it. And uh, this particular one that I'm in is quite small. You could possibly sleep two people in here. They didn't mind getting close and personal. But um, luckily tonight, when I came here, there was nobody here. And with a bit of luck, won't get any more visitors this evening. But we'll see. I was checking out ready meals, dehydrated meals before I came on this trip. So I went to a hiking shop in the center of the city. And um, yeah, the cheapest dehydrated meals I could find were about six or seven euros. But some of the, the nicer ones were yeah, 10 euros a pop. I was like, Jesus, that's that's some amount of money for, uh, for a meal. So I think uh, I might have to start seeing about joining the dark side and going, going the whole dehydrating food myself. I've watched some very good YouTube videos uh, of different hikers, of quite different styles. Uh, mostly tend to be from Ireland and from the UK. So uh, I guess the guy who kind of got me interested in this whole thing was uh, Martin from Soul Trail. Cheers, Martin. And um, also I've been watching uh, Hayes Outdoors in the UK and Paul Messner. And then more recently, uh, through Martin, actually, he, he had mentioned her. There's a lady called Miriam Kennedy who uh, uh, has done some beautiful videos on the west coast of Ireland. Right, well, I've had my dinner and a cup of tea. And, and now it's time to get my head down. The fire is still going nicely. Although it's smoking quite a lot. Let's hope the place doesn't fill it with smoke. Uh, yeah, it's a bit chilly. It feels quite a bit more exposed compared to being in a tent. There's that sense of somehow security, even though, of course, it's only behind a very thin layer of nylon. Yeah, let's see how how I sleep tonight. I'll have to keep my head well covered. So there's some for rain forecast for tonight, so it could be quite nice. To lie in here and hear the rain on the roof. Hopefully this place doesn't leak. But I guess we'll find out. So yeah, tomorrow I'll do a better tour around the actual lava itself and uh, you'll get a better idea of just how big it is and what how it's constructed. So that's for tomorrow. So good night. See you in the morning. Well, good morning. Yeah, I slept pretty okay last night. I was cold a few times. Uh, it seems to be quite a bit colder than it would be in the tent. But in between, I slept quite nicely. It was so peaceful. I have to see about this quilt system. I didn't clip it underneath me. And I was getting a few cold spots. Uh, one thing when I woke up this morning it was nice. I could hear fluttering wings. So when I opened an eye, there was a, is it a cold tit or a great tit? Just literally right beside me looking at me as if to say, what the hell are you doing here? Yeah, all in all, a good experience. I'll get the trangia on now and get some hot water going and get some breakfast. bushcraft let's see how that works out what I've got is I've got some 
birch bark shavings. Some pine bark, wood chips, smaller sticks to get it going, and then some larger sticks. And in the in the shed I've got some like, more wood. I won't make a big fire, but I just wanted to get a bit of bit of warmth and heat going. So let's put that down there. Birch bark is great stuff. It's a bit like paper and uh, it should burn readily. Just pile that on. It's a little bit damp, but it should actually burn quite nicely, as you can see. Let's try a wood shading. quite common for kids in Finland to learn how to light a fire because at the summer cottage they've got a wood fire at sauna so they learn by watching their parents light the breakfast is ready <coughs> Decided to go with the hot muesli again. Uh, this time, though, I realised that it's uh, it's just regular muesli that I added hot milk to. <coughs> and I, I say milk. Basically, I decided to try and rather than bring liquid milk with me, I try and use this dried powdered milk and then add it to hot water. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. I tried it in straight into the tea last night. Yeah, it worked pretty well. Worked pretty well. Uh, wouldn't really notice the difference. Just the taste is about the same. I have my instant coffee. This is a uh, flat white, straight out of a bag. But um, I've had these before, and uh, they're surprisingly good for what they are. They're dead handy to carry. You don't have to be faffing around with filters and all that sort of stuff. Although, having said that, having a good filter coffee in the field is a luxury and something that's quite nice. said I'd do a quick film by day just so that you can get a better idea of what it looks like so we have the fire pit obviously and then planks for sitting on um, very important emergency information if anything goes wrong a little storage box there for wood but when I arrived there was also uh, Quite a lot of wood store already packed up inside. I tidied everything over to the one side and slept on in here on the inside. So, as you see, it's a lean-to shape, tapering towards the back, and the flat roof is just this uh, felt and tar tiles. So. It rained a little bit in the night, but it didn't rain enough for the place to leak, and I was quite dry the whole time. Today's Finnish lesson. Today's word is luontopolku. And bro broken down, luonto is nature, and polku is trail. So, nature trail. They're obviously putting up some new signs for the trail here, so they haven't been installed yet. But finish lesson of the day number two. The word today is 
rekkelureiti and rekkelu is hiking or backpacking moving about in nature rekkelu and reiti is a route so process of elimination it is rekkelu reiti a hiking route in this area there are some really beautiful very old oak trees that have become hollow now in the center there is this one which has this rather large opening in it and with a bit of luck i can actually get in and stand up inside let's see it's a bit cramped Really cool to be inside a tree. I know a woodpecker feels not coming out of a, its nest in a tree.